Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to do the black pearl video real quick for you um, so that you guys can see some of the animals in the project um, and let me, you know, discuss a little bit of the stuff that's going on with the project, uh, where it's been, where it's going, stuff like that. Um, basically, uh, I had the opportunity to buy um, the whole project off of Paul Allen um, from Bright Albino and uh, I jumped at the opportunity and today I'm going to show you some of the animals that are actually in the project that I'm doing um, to try to create the, you know, the very, very dark animal. Um, a little bit of background history on the Black Pearl. Um, the Black Pearl actually originated in Europe, um, and a breeder in Canada actually bought the whole project, um, and that breeder actually sold off all of the visual females of the Black Pearl. Um, he only kept back a male a, or two and um, uh, all the het females, if you will. Um, when the project was sold to the guy in Canada, um, it was thought to be either a co-dominant trait with a super form or possibly a recessive. Um, I'm pretty sure that it was kind of sold to him, though, as a co-dominant and there was, you know, had to be further testing done to see really what it was. Um, so when the breeder in Canada, you know, decided to sell off the females, um, all he had left was basically a visual male and then the possible het females or het females. And uh, basically what was left from that didn't prove out. Um, and the, uh, the male ended up, I think, passing away. Um, and that is all I know from that, that side of the house. Um, basically, what I'm going to show you is the lineage of one of the females that was sold, uh, basically started this whole project. Um, she's going to be the first animal that I'm going to show you. She actually is on her fourth clutch of eggs, actually just laid her fourth clutch of eggs. So she is a little bit thin, um, not scary thin or anything like that. That was probably her last clutch that she's actually going to lay. Um, just because of a little bit of the stress and stuff like that, because I actually got her shipped to me, um, you know, while she was laying eggs and there was even two eggs um, in, the, uh, in the container with her whenever she arrived. So those eggs are actually in the incubator. They're doing well so far. Um, so we'll see what hatches out of those as well. Um, the original female um, was basically bought, and the first year um, she was bred, she didn't have any babies. Uh, the second year that she was bred, um, she only had two babies. Um, those two babies um, ended up both, both being females. She was actually bred to a very, very dark super hypotangerine uh, male. And those two babies, uh, I still have, I have one of them, it's a little bit further down in the stack. I'll actually show you her as well so you can compare and stuff like that. Um, those two babies uh, were, you know, put back into the project. Um, and the, basically there was no real, uh, you know, difference in the, in the babies that was very, very noticeable or anything like that. So... That's where we'll start with the project, um, just to give you a little bit of background history on it, and then we'll go through the history that is visually right here in front of me, um, so you guys can see that as well. All right, the first one is the original black pearl female that was bought. Um, like I said, she is a little bit thin from breeding, um, but I'm, like I said, she'll fatten right back up. Um, she is definitely darker. Um, she's not like black, black, like you would think that she would be at this stage. Um, I believe she is about three to four years old, probably four years old at this point. Um, so she never really did get like that solid black coloration back or anything like that. But that's the original female. Um, I don't want to stress her out too much, so I'm going to put her to the side. Um, she literally laid two eggs uh, a day or two ago, so that's why I don't want to stress her out too much more. Um, because she has had, uh, you know, quite a couple months here between getting shipped, uh, pretty much uh, cross country and still laying eggs. So we're going to put her aside. And then this is the male that was bred to her the third year. Um, this male right here is actually from, uh, from JMG. This male, the genetics are 
a black pearl female cross to the JMG charcoal line. As you can see, he's definitely not normal. Um, he is definitely a little bit like darker, but he still has a lot of that yellow showing through. Um, he's definitely really, really cool. He's got like a little paradox spot on his, uh, on his face there. Um, but definitely a very, very cool animal. This male right here is basically the father to all of the animals that I'm going to show you. Um, some of the animals that I'm going to show you are from breeding him to the black pearl female, and then some of the babies are from him to crosses of different things, and then him to uh, the, uh, the other female that was produced from the black pearl. So that's basically your family tree that we're looking at right now. This is the male that has produced all of the, all of the babies, though except for that that other female that I'll, I'll show you and explain to you later. Uh, so, with this male right here, bred to the black pearl female, this animal was produced. Um, this animal is... this is the girl. Um, this is considered a, a black pearl female right here. As you can see, very, very dark. Um, she does have a hypo appearance to her. I think that is definitely coming from the male. Uh, one of the things that I need to do with the black pearl to make it darker, in my opinion, is to definitely take the hypo uh, out of it. Uh, with the hypo out of it, I think there would definitely be a better chance of re getting the all-black animal that stays darker. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm going to be doing with it. Um, like I said, this is basically a black pearl bred to um, a, the, the, the male that I just showed you. So it's kind of, uh, basically what it is, is it's going to be 75% black pearl, 25% charcoal. Um, because it came from the male that uh, I just showed you. This is actually a sibling. Um, this is the male black pearl that I have. Um, as you can see, still very, very dark. Um, and comparing the two, one is a little bit darker than the other one right now, but they actually are kind of like mood rings or blizzards, if you will. So you know how some blizzards actually will be lighter or darker depending on their mood and stuff like that? The same thing is true with these guys. Um, the black pearls will definitely uh, be lighter or darker depending on their mood. Um, kind of the cool part is, uh, you would think that if they were cooler, they would be darker, but it's actually whenever they get warmer, they actually get darker. Um, so whenever they're nice and warmed up, they're actually very, very dark. Um, these guys have been in the containers for about 15 minutes uh, while I was, you know, handpicking all of them out so that I could show them to you. So some of them, their colors actually already changed a little bit. Uh, but again, this is the black pearl male that I'll be using for a lot of the projects. And this guy is basically 75% black pearl and 25% charcoal. All right. I told you that there was a female that was basically a black pearl bred to a very, very dark super hypo tangerine. That's this girl right here. As you can see, she's still a little bit different looking than a normal super hypo tangerine. Um, and she was actually bred to uh, the... Uh, black pearl cross to charcoal male uh, last year and I'll show you some of her babies as well but this is uh, basically a black pearl bred to a, a darker super hypo tangerine so you can see that she still looks a little different um, she as well has been breeding already she's in, has like three actually four clutches on the ground as well um, so again, she's a little bit, you know, thin from breeding, plus all the shipping and stuff like that. Um, but this is basically, uh, the mother of this one was a black pearl. Alright, this guy is actually pretty crazy too. Um, you can see he's a little bit darker, but he was actually a lot darker whenever I put him in here, and of course he lightened right back up. So now you can't even see that how dark he actually is, which kind of stinks um, because this guy is, he does get almost as dark as the, the black pearl uh, babies that I showed you, um, the, the pair of them. Um, again, it does have that super hypo influence, 
So what I want to do is definitely get that out so that you see more of the darker spots showing through. I think that will create uh, an animal that will stay a little bit darker for most of its life. But again, this is this one right here is actually black pearl crossed to the, the black pearl charcoal it, male. So still very, very weird looking and very, very interesting. All right, this one right here is actually uh, looks like the same cross, but as you can see, very, very different pattern to it. Um, uh, not as, uh, you know, hypo as the other ones. Um, definitely has more of the lavender look to it as well. Very, very interesting. This one looks a lot more like the mother than the father, which that's the look that we're probably going to want to put into it, is more of the darker spots coming in uh, and staying. I mean, this animal right here is probably into the 40 gram range, and it still definitely has that, that darkness to it. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is, this is actually a Max Snow patternless cross to the, the black pearl charcoal. So that's definitely a mouthful, and it's, uh, but as you can see, very, very dark, heavily spotted. Um, definitely the patternless uh, is showing in the, the het patternless is showing in this, where they have a lot more spots than a normal. Um, but as you can see, still very, very weird looking animal. Um, it definitely has a lot more spotting on it, uh, but this one is also het for patternless as well, and it's max snow. So those two things will help to keep the darkness, if you will, as, um, and it's uh, definitely a cool animal to have uh, to do some of the crosses and stuff like that. This is actually the sibling, which definitely looks, you know, a lot different. If you would see this one in person, it definitely has like a greenish tint to it, um, and you can see that uh, it, it definitely doesn't have the coloration like a... Uh, like a normal leopard gecko should. Like it's very uh, toned out. Um, just to give you a um, like a, a color reference, this is red. So I mean it's very very weird. Actually I got uh, red, blue, and green to give you a little bit of a, a cover, a color reference. I mean definitely no coloration to this guy at all um, as far as like the the orange tints or anything like that. So it's it's almost like a a uh, muddy yellow type color um, that's very very different so um, this guy will probably be used as well to try to create uh, you know darker animals and again this one is a black pearl cross to charcoal uh, male cross to a max snow patternless female this next one is actually the same father as the rest of them, and it is a uh, the the black pearl charcoal uh, cross male bred to a max snow. And as you can see, this one is very very weird as well. Um, you can see different tones in it as well. Um, definitely has a little bit of the hypo influence to it, but uh, it's not as overpowering as it should be. Um, so this one would be another good candidate for the more spotted, uh, darker looking animals. But again, very, very different looking, um, just not normal. Uh, which hopefully by this video you can see that uh, the, the babies, they all look weird. Um, so there's definitely something going on. Um, I don't think it's as simple as just like a simple recessive. Um, there's definitely a, a line bred component into it where you can definitely get darker animals. Um, there might be a recessive component, but uh, for the most part, I think a lot of it's going to be line bred. All right, these babies right here, because um, they're probably going to freak out as soon as I open this up, these are the uh, babies from the male black pearl charcoal, which is this guy cross to this female right here, which this female right here, like I said before, is that dark super hypo tangerine cross to the black pearl female, and then it's, you know, the this male, which is the black pearl uh, cross to the charcoal 
uh, crossed with charcoal. So these guys are basically 50% blood black pearl uh, and 25% charcoal and then you know the other 25% is like a super hypo tangerine uh, that was darker. Um, as you can see these ones are definitely like uh, that muddy yellow type color um, and they're definitely super hypos which like I said before that's one of those things I'm going to have to try to work out of these guys. Um, because as you can see, the Super Hypo definitely takes away a lot of the darkness of them. Uh, so that's going to be one of those things that i got to work out of them. Uh, but you can see that they're, they're, they're just different than a Super Hypo. I mean, if, judging by the, the carroting on the tail, you can definitely see that the, the animals are definitely different um, in coloration than you know, what, a, what a tangerine should look like. As I said, they're a little rambunctious, um, which is good. That just means that they're, you know, definitely strong genetically. All right. These guys are actually, um, these are the het patternless ones right here. So, as you can see, a very, very different look to them as well. Just a little, little weird. I, I mean, even compared to those two right there. Oh, which, that one's going to freak out and run all over the place. Here. Stay back from your tub. Alright. You guys going to settle down there for a second? So I can film you? Um, even the those two right there, see how like muddy the, the Super Hypo looks compared to um, the other coloration on the other one? Wow, these guys are going nuts. Um, I'm actually going to put the lid back on these guys before I start talking about those ones. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's got an here. Definitely psycho little guys, um, but those guys are the het patternless ones, uh, just like the male that I showed you earlier. Here's where it gets a little bit more interesting, and it definitely, uh, we definitely can do some work with these guys. These guys are actually Halloween mask crossed to the black pearl charcoal. So these guys, the one in the middle definitely has the hypo influence to it, um, but it definitely, you can see a, a bolder head pattern as well. So these guys are going to be kind of cool to work with. Uh, this is actually a male right here. Um, he's actually breeding with these guys right now. Um, as you can see, crazy looking head pattern, um, just like the Halloween masks. A little bit darker in appearance as well. Uh, same with the female. She definitely has the, the cooler looking head pattern. This is actually a cool cross that I'm excited to work with and see what pops out of this. Um, if we can get the really, really dark animals with the Halloween style uh, heads, um, that's only going to add to the, uh, the darkness of the animal. Because most Halloween masks are very, very dark in general. Um, so this is another way to get some of the dark, uh, the dark uh, pigmentation into the, uh, into the animals as well. I'm going to put a lid on these guys because they're probably going to start freaking out soon too. And then I'll uh, show you the black pearl female um, as I'm talking here. Um, as you can see, very, very dark compared to the, the other ones. All right, so what I'm going to do with these guys, um, i got to do a couple things basically. The things that i got to do, which they can all happen at the same time, is i got to figure out what is really going on with the black pearls. Um, as you can see, it's going to be a little bit more difficult though because there is... Um, the charcoal line actually bred into the black pearl line, so I got to see which one is, you know, more dominant and which one is actually uh, at, at work whenever I'm doing these crosses and stuff like that. But uh, some of the things that these guys are going to be crossed into are definitely into eclipses and into the Afghanicus line. Um, it's also going to be crossed into a couple other lines of things that I have. Um, but uh, I'll talk to you about those a little bit later, um, just because I don't know how it's going to act with it. Um, but the main ones that it's, it's going to be in with are the Afghanicus line, just because they're a very, very dark animal to begin with, and to the Eclipse line, just to get the black pigmentation into the eyes. Um, hopefully this sheds some light on some of uh, the black pearl stuff for you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, and we can definitely, you know, talk about these guys. There's probably going to be a, a round two video uh, with uh, 
the babies uh, that I hatch out from this year. Uh, just to give you an update, this is definitely one of those projects that I'll do updates on uh, more frequently, just so I can keep everybody in the loop of what's going on with the Black Pearl or the Black Pearl crosses that I'm working with. It's kind of weird because it uh, the project won't really be a Black Pearl project at this point um, because it definitely does have the charcoal line into it. So it's one of those things that it, it It'll still be the Black Pearl project, but it also has other stuff involved in it, so it's not just 100% Black Pearl anymore. So that's where the uh, you know the the tricky part's going to come into it, where uh, it's it's not these guys aren't actually you know pure Black Pearls or anything like that. They're definitely uh, crossed into a darker line. Uh, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you got to see some animals and see some you know the darker looks to them. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we can get these animals to look very, very dark in the future. And uh, I'll definitely keep you updated on how that's going. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, see you in the next one.